Okay. Let's try this new new game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I was thinking that there is only two games in October. I am actually really interested in going to buy. Good afternoon. Then or should I say evening? Uh, morning. Release. Morning. At any rate. I am the game and master. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Before we begin, there is something I must tell you. You see, my job is to draw you into this world with my voice and cards. Which is why I believe it best for you to play with the sound on. In fact, I insist on it. However, as you can see, my voice is subtitled, so you can always read along as well. Now then, are you ready? Let's begin. <clears throat> Welcome to Voice of Cards. You are about to take the first steps of your adventure. Through a realm of sword and sorcery you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. Uh, I, I am merely a witness to your exploits. And can we start? Now then, your departure draws nigh. May your journey be a safe one. This is Castle Advent. Queen Nilla reigns over the kingdom from within its walls. Three white-clad adventurers have gathered here at the Queen's summons. Present yourselves, O oh faithful of the Ivory Order. Should, uh... Yeah. So I should just keep moving forward. From upon her throne, the queen regards the adventurers. So you are disciples of the order. What order? The youngest of the three steps forward. She holds herself with well-born grace. I am Winifred of the Ivory Order, Your Majesty, she says. I lead this fellowship. She bows, glancing to her two companions. Oh, obviously she leads this. Oh, In response, shit. the stern-looking one inclines his head and brusquely names himself Berwin. Berwin. Oh, I really forgot the... The older <laughs> man is the picture of courtesy as he genuflects and introduces himself as Hedwin. It is these three our story follows today. The queen acknowledges the fellowship with a nod. In a soft voice, she explains her errand. Someone has stolen the royal treasure. I bid you reclaim it. Under normal circumstances, I would entrust this to my soldiers. But I do not wish to spread thin my forces with the recent monster troubles. What it monster seems trouble? the troubled queen has judged she can entrust this matter to none but the Ivory Order, beloved of the people and unmatchable in battle. It is our honor to serve you, Your Majesty, and thus the quest falls to the Fellowship. Short of any clues that could lead them to the culprit, however, they press the queen for further information. Okay. Uh, what is the royal? The fellowship the asks the queen what the royal first, treasure what? is. And how do I retrieve something if I don't know? The what queen that describes is? a bottle containing a certain liquid. Okay. Without it, she trails off. But the desperation in her voice suggests its loss could spell disaster for the kingdom. The 
The Fellowship asks the Queen if she knows anything about the thief. The Queen says witnesses might be found at Nexton. Usually, one would expect recompense for this sort of undertaking. No, seriously, I have to ask. As demanding a reward would go against the tenets of the Ivory Order, you hold your tongue. The Queen, however, has already said she will reward the Fellowship with whatever they desire. Oh, where are it seems the royal treasure is just that important. Pray oh, tarry no lying. longer here. I await news of your success. The Fellowship bows and takes their leave. I mean, after all, if you ask for something that she couldn't or wouldn't give it to you, there's really not that much to, that you can do. This thing is actually kind of interesting, you know, the way how We can waste no things. time finding the treasure. Wait, cries Berwyn. Blocking Winifred's path. A monster. You dare stand in our way? Edwin scowls at the foul creature. It lunges at the fellowship. Come over the man. He's the inspector. He shall be yours. Well, I expect no less. Okay, I don't need to restore any energy, so... Okay, let's take down this one first. Oh, thank you so much. That's an obvious for game for that. No, I'm not questioning what the heck that can be. Okay. Or do I? Easy enough. Okay, the treasure chest. Do we get to rebuild it? Showing no person? signs of weariness from battle, Berwin silently wipes the monster's ichor from his weapon. Edwin inspects the remains of their foe. The Queen spoke true, he mutters, his face mad. Winifred gives a grim nod at his words. Mayhap the treasure's theft and the monster's behavior are connected somehow. First things first, the Fellowship needs to gather more information. So what? Does he mean Next that the monster is acting weirdly? Like they don't... I'm not quite used to this um, control. Yeah. Lucky you, there are all sorts of things. God, the moves is electric to carry you. Have them explain. No. So, I was saying, um, discover that, you know, if they just, um, uh, like, convert to one card, then you have to go for it. So, 
Okay, maybe we can talk to some people. Welcome to Nexton, Hail's a man. The fellowship asks if he's heard anything. The man's eyes widen. He leans close to Winifred. Welcome to Nexton. I see like an NPC. I mean, of course, he is an NPC. The man helpfully advises you take the opportunity to purchase equipment and curatives while you are in town. How may I help you? The proprietor inquires. Oh, so equipments are also cards, right? Do we have the Okay, 540. Steel. Oh, so this is like uh, armor on the um, shoulder. Yep. I'm not gonna buy. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, there are two more. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Not yet. Will that be all? The proprietor asks. I keep pressing the wrong button. Well, I mean, in the two cases, it's not the wrong, you know, it's not what I don't want to do, but. I'm too I'm scared to, to leave like town that. with all those monsters out there. The woman sighs. Okay, that's very helpful. Let's see what. A woman sits hunched over by the side of the road. Doesn't see that woman. Upon catching sight of the fellowship, she calls Just out for their aid. It, yeah. Hold in she the sprained bank. her ankle and needs you to take her to the nearby apothecary. That's very suspicious to me. Winifred rushes to her and helps her up. Berwin lifts the woman onto his back, and the fellowship sets out in search of an apothecary. Okay, you wouldn't be hard unless. Let's take to choose the direction you want to draw, then press the button B. Okay, that is unexpected. Wow, they can jump so far away. You arrive at the apothecary. Mm -hmm. There is a game. You know, a simulator. After uh, taking a uh, curative, uh, the woman begins the hopping cube. up and down. Nothing holds a candle to ivory order medicine, she beams. Right. She turns Some to the fellowship, her eyes widening in um, surprise. You uh, herbs. Herbs? Yep. It seems and she's only my, now yeah, realized yeah. the fellowship are disciples of the ivory order. The woman takes each of their hands in turn, thanking them for their service. I feel, the Ivory I feel Order is very suspicious if I were to supplies them, throughout the realm. Just hold my hand. And indeed, every smile the Order brings to someone's face Shake makes hand. Winifred proud Shake to be hands a disciple. No. I just want to know what kind of collection are we talking about?
Yeah, I still remember what I was in this like. How may I help you? The proprietor. The apothecary catches sight of the fellowship. Ah, the Ivory Order, to which I owe the prosperity of my humble shop, she says. She gestures to the drawers filled with her wares. Pray, choose one of my concoctions and take it at no cost. It shall be a token of my thanks to the Order. The Fellowship insists they will pay as any other customer would, and sets about browsing her wares. Okay then. I thought she was giving us something, but no. Item shop. Okay, let's just... Nothing see. holds a candle to Ivory Order Medicine, proclaims the woman, swigging this okay. curative and let's that. The woman this. begs the Fellowship for their autographs. She seems to. I know there's nothing to worry about with disciples okay, of the order. Greater, um, she says, relief you know, flooding her um, features. But no. Upon asking, the woman says she was attacked by a monster outside of town. A strange creature, she says. Nothing but bones, and it clutched a bottle of medicine as if its life depended on it. Sorry. What? Okay, outside of town. This sounds like it might be. Okay. Nothing. He didn't get a good look at their face, but says they were nothing but skin and bone. Okay, that is easy. The fellowship thanks the man for the useful information. Apparently, there's a monster lurking around the outskirts of town stealing medicine, and only medicine. Rumors claim the monster fled to the west. Thanks to the information gleaned from the townsfolk, the Fellowship is all but certain of who has stolen the royal treasure. The first one is the Queen's description of the treasure, a small bottle containing a certain liquid. Then there's the bony figure seen fleeing town, the skeletal monster clutching the bottle of medicine, and the monster that fled west. From all that information, the Fellowship distills the thief's true identity. My main question is, what is this? A scrawny street urchin and tones Berwin. It must be. Winifred ignores that. Our thief is the monster that fled west, she says, with a glance to Hedwin. Hedwin nods silently in agreement with Winifred's conclusion. Winifred clears her throat, proclaims that the fellowship shall head west, out of town, and walks off. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, so while I wasn't reading, shit, still keep pressing the wrong. So it's like if I flip over I don't see anything. Whatever. Let's just yeah, get on with it. Yeah, what else could I have then? Here. Okay. 
all for you, everyone. It's the only direction you can go in. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, but um, this is not like a deck building game, like they, I mean, the card doesn't change, unless the card doesn't change because uh, you only have so many cards, in. but I feel like it really doesn't like that, I mean, I feel like, I guess, it's just, you know, things are all presented in a way. Of cards, except the James, the James. But yeah. okay, level up. Oh, but maybe we will see about that. Okay, let's see. Chess, I have to kill a target of poison, that we poisoned. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, as I see, I was. Let's do this. Cut. No maps and build up by card. One more card here because the um but the skills she learned new skills and there is he came more cards here. Maybe that was so uh, unexpected. Okay, we can use this card because there is not enough jam, I suppose. You can just still use this card, okay? This one. Seriously?
Wow. Lucky. Good work. Yep. <clears throat> Excellent. <laughs> The fellowship moves westward, only to be unnerved by the sight of a human figure moving through the trees. The presence of large packs suggests a traveler. I beg your pardon, but did you catch sight of a monster fleeing west? When a friend inquires, we'll need to be to the right. He gives oh, her a puzzled look. Bit. There's nothing out there but the sea, he says. That and a cave full of monsters on the opposite shore. <laughs> I suspect you might find your quarry there. The fellowship exchange glances and nod as if to say, Then that is where we shall go. Alas, they will need a boat to cross the sea. The traveler hoists his packs, suggests the fellowship speak to the fisherman on the western shore, and takes his leave. Fisherman, no. Fire. Yeah. Good work. Um, on the other hand, I really need to reset this thing. Okay, let's just do this. the story for that section, you see. Uh, I suppose that's something I have to, we can play that in the demo and have to play it in the official release. Let's do this. Each one can uh, get rid of in the next move, unless we they got so lucky that that doesn't happen. So, uh, 
Oh, there's the ship. And it's just a fisherman. The comes upon an anchored ship. It looks like a... Close by, a fisherman of exquisite physique pulls a net out of the water, his muscles rippling. This is no time for lustful reverie. Winifred races to his side and asks that he give the Fellowship safe passage aboard the ship. That vessel is cursed, the fisherman mutters, trembling. Vessel? Night after night, it leaves port without a soul aboard, headed I know not where. Come morning, it is once again anchored here. This, to the fisherman's mind, is the result of a curse. His head drops into his hands. With but a single dispeller, I am certain I could lift it and sail away. Alas, the Fellowship find themselves without any dispeller. They resolve to return to Nexton and find some. Dispenser. So we have to get back to the Nexton to... Yeah, I was thinking of using the jump anyway, so... Actually, it is very convenient if we can just jump to places. Yeah. And like I have a choice. Okay, so, uh. An innocent looking young boy accosts. In this parlor, you can play cards. The child rambles on, wheedling you. Oh. I'll give you this if you play with me. More cards. Okay. I just want to know what I'm paying if it's not Quim. To get more points than other players. Okay, poker. poker. I mean, not exactly. You know, like. This is, uh, game started, established in one card at a time. Okay, got it.
also make sense from card with consecutive number that that uh Three cards out of you know consecutive numbers. This is will often enough three cards of the same numbers. I have any choice. All we can do is uh, have to get rid of this one. See if we get this button. This is so boring, I don't know what to say. Anyway, it's good that I took the 7 from outside or he would have told it. Which means I reduce his point, like... Uh, I wasn't really <laughs> paying attention which part, which pile to discard, but I think I discard the white one. 
Oh, anyway, this is so boring now. Like, what? What do I actually want? You know, when you can just do it. Uh, uh, I mean, at least for the uh, Witcher 3 version. Once you get rid of it, I get. Just do it. You know that is all just some basic techniques, basic strategies. You always do the same thing. Um, maybe not exactly, but basically, and it's still okay. And there is a game that is just for coin. It's not the coin card game. It's for free. But the one that described it, I don't know, coin and an empire, and with a complete set of story. Okay, five, six, and seven. Yeah. It's actually kind of a. I mean, you know, you have to discard a pile, and it just keeps in. I mean, it just already had to follow up, and then you see, okay, I get hundred points. Oh. No, I have to discard 30 points, and it's just 70. In the end, it's kind of frustrating. Kind of. Okay, that's okay. Even if he makes a set of 4 and 5, it doesn't really matter. If he makes a set using an 8, it would be much more of a problem, you know. Last turn. I don't even have to do anything. But obviously, if I have a set, I will take it. <laughs> the difference is so large. Enormous. Thanks for playing, the boy squeals. He hands over the medicine bottle as promised. Okay, this builder, that's what I was looking for to. No, I, I knew it when I saw the description. I didn't saw the name of the card, but it's in the description. It said, oh, everything is. A, it says, uh, it cure curbs. So I thought it was the thing I we were looking for, and anyway. everything is card that you know can be made into card that reminds me of the Great Island of the comics, hunters, hunter, hunter. hunter when Fred, uh, the fisherman snatches up the he opens the I'm not quite sure what it's calling the fish. <laughs> anyway, still a spell portioned on the ship and... Okay. Let's make our way to the... Are you ready to set sail for the cave? The fish yeah, just go. Let's shove off then. He beckons you aboard. The fellowship arrives at the mouth of a dank cave. Its damp, rocky expanse threatening to swallow them. Monsters could come pouring out at any moment. The fisherman has anchored the ship in the cove. Come back here when you're ready to return to the mainland, he says. Okay. Actually, that also means that if they're not ready for this, after all, right? What is that card? Yeah, no, I 
the part we couldn't go there too. But just curious why is there one cockpit? And fight. Let's see if light damage damage cause more damage. That when well may not maybe not like pair well really well but well Effective to this uh, skeleton soldier. Just burn it. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh, no, I didn't know that it was weak against fire, although I have my suspicion. Suspicion? Yeah, suspicion. That one well. Do you guys want to like maybe level up a bit? About the enemy. in the wrong button. No, so that was actually turning to to find a key first. already half done.
There is another cock right here that, you know, they came to turn it flip with them. Yeah. Which just make the design seem kind of strange. Okay. It feels like a trap solo, I suppose. I expect them to be. Okay. Never mind, I didn't say anything. This is just some random, easy, easy fight. difference is still kind of weird or maybe not exactly but still and fight I don't feel like light is be useful to against this so like I said it can burn one creature in one hit so of course I'm gonna just finish one of the and he can finish the other see eleven is not gonna kill it in one hit makes more sense wow they are leveling up really not not really but rather fast I would say the door before you is shut quite demo. tightly. It appears to have a key hole. Uh, I'll just try to deal with those good ideas. Key into the keyhole and turns it. The lock opens with a thumb. Well, it's not the problem with this game. It's the problem of lots of games. and just let him take care of it because the burn and okay, let's just try another one then oh it doesn't use the six sided dice but with a lot more size so it is easier to get uh congrats result of it is more than you know higher than five okay I suppose you just go up no, thanks, here. I know it, I know it is cave. And I'm the door, seriously. An Does iron door key? towers before you. It has rather conspicuous handles. Pushes the massive handles again. Erwin gives the door a roundhouse out of pure frustration. As his foot connects, the door trundles to the side. So it was one of those sliding contraptions. Uh, no, I'm just wondering, like, what's the point? It doesn't Something leaps just... out at the fellowship. For Winifred deftly parries the attack with her staff. Edwin looks fondly at Winifred. Only to have his reverie interrupted by Berwyn's cry of, It's coming back. What is coming back? I don't get it. Whatever. Just burn it. Well, actually, right, so... Is it called burn or something? Okay, big guy, you're slow. Anyway, that should take care of it. So, you did great. there it goes. The 
fellowship of you shall not have it. Of the fellowship wearily eyes their surroundings. Sorry, I'm just getting impatient. Yeah, cursed treasure trust. I'm so not surprised. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, but I just feel like lightning would be more effective to the skeleton in the middle, so just kind of had to try it. Okay, it really is weak to uh, come. Okay. I should take care of him anyways, but yeah, great. Oh, how come he got three more? Should have, but it doesn't really matter. Does it get three more points again? Yep. Doesn't really matter. It will go away just like this. Congrats. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Steps to the fiend's remains and opens the chest. Inside is what appears for all the world. Also, that skeleton was the medicine bottle. Uh, target. At last, the royal treasure is in safe hands. No, that the monster that they suggest to have token the place, uh, the treasure. And now we have retrieved it. In time, the fellowship find themselves before the queen once more. They offer her the retrieved treasure. Oh, we just give right to it. As reward for the arduous task, we're going to just go back and forth, dreaming, especially if we can just jump. Prepared to shower the fellowship with riches, whether cards. they demand them or not. But at that moment, a massive roar, a light sound never been heard before, shakes the entire castle. As the roar recedes, one of the royal guard. Pale as a sheet, bursts into the royal hall. He struggles to gather his breath. Just now, over the castle, a, yeah, a I dragon. Knew, I knew it is dragon. To Queen Nilla. Oh, is that red dragon in the game's a name? Dragon. I think so, but I didn't notice. So the great evil has returned. Queen Nilla turns her gaze to the sky, dumbfounded. <laughs> So the monster troubles are connected, Edward says so under his breath. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that much. The troubles, the monster troubles are connected. settles over the royal hall. The fellowship stand tall, unflinching, as though they know what must be done in the face of such a crisis. So I suppose this is the end of the battle. What will become of I like the, the music. Now that the dragon but uh, this game is just a very transitional, very, very classic, classic? Anyway, yeah. a JRPG that everything is demonstrated, well, most everything is demonstrated in the, you know, presented in the form of a card, so not very interesting. I'm not sure am I really that interested in this game after all. And that's it.